Welcome to Tip TV Finance and it's CEO interview time with uh, Dave Kruger, CEO at Africa Clean Energy Solutions. How are you today, Dave? I'm very well, thank you for having me, Zach. Right, you've got an interesting business. Um, it's in uh, many exotic locations uh, on the continent. Can you tell me a bit about well, the geographical aspect first? Yep, so we've got offices uh, currently in Kenya, Uganda, Namibia and South Africa. And the idea is to expand to Rwanda and Zambia as well. Um, we started with uh, uh, pre-developing stages there as well. Well, unless you're uh, Donald Trump, I suppose you're not, you, know, you are quite interested in uh, clean energy these days. W what type of clean energy are you talking about here? So we focus on the three technologies, the biogas um, through anaerobic digestion, and we look at biogas using uh, waste forest material and waste material, um, and then the uh, solar. Right, so presumably in those areas, uh, the, the sun shines rather more than in uh, foggy old London. So you, the, the clean side is, is actually uh, quite a winner, let's say, at least in theory. Uh, but um, um, obviously in emerging uh, uh, economies, developing countries, um, you tend to associate them with uh, the, the old fossil fuels, fuels area. You only tend to go into the cleaner side once you're more developed. Is that, is that the correct way of looking at it? Zach, you know, the challenge that you have in Africa is infrastructure. So a lot of the um, countries do not have the infrastructure to uh, connect their power to. So uh, where the clean energy comes in, it's remote. You could do it in, uh, in modular form and you could do it uh, mobile as well. So you could move it around. So you're actually taking advantage of the fact that there isn't the uh, infrastructure there, or maybe the, the unclean uh, infrastructure there already? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So the, the idea is to provide the energy and power in the remote areas where there isn't infrastructure and also where the, the governments of the countries um, have a problem of uh, doing it in a short time. And how, how, I mean, how friendly are these governments been? Because some of the names you mentioned, you possibly wouldn't want to go there for a holiday. Um, or you, you think you might not want to go with that for, a, for a holiday, but what's it, what's it like? What's the political situation? What, 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 where's, what are the highlights and the lowlights, let's say? Look, we, what we do is when we identify a country, we do a due diligence on the country, on the political side as well. And uh, being African, understanding the African climate, uh, there will always be these kind of challenges. But uh, the country, the, um, uh, the continent has uh, uh, been developed. So there is um, uh, infrastructure in certain of the countries where um, the uh, connections can be done. Um, in the remote areas, there are these challenges, but the support from the governments are, are, are very good because they're looking for, first of all, for um, investment, and then they're also looking to expand the, uh, the uh, energy sector, um, which then can help advance growth in these countries. And Africa has got a huge gap uh, when it comes to energy. Um, so um, ACES, our, country, our company, is uh, looking to fill some of that uh, gap. So is it true that it's almost like an emergency in terms of the need for energy? Um, you've got expanding populations, expanding economies, and there's that deficit there. Absolutely, absolutely. So the, that's the reason why these governments welcome the investment and also the expertise into the countries. Well, speaking of investment, uh, presumably you're not, you're not working as a charity. Uh, you want to make money as well. What are the margins like in your business and what can investors in your business, uh, should they decide to go in that direction, what can they expect? Right, so the, the, the first uh, point is that we look at the demands and look at where we could, uh, on a, in a short, reasonable space, uh, develop the uh, projects and then to switch them on. Then we look at the risk on the off-taker. Um, uh, the, the margins are fairly between 16-24% uh, IRRs, um, depending on the technology you use. Um, the sun is always shining in Africa, as you know, so for solar it's uh, a reasonably quick uh, um, solutions that you could uh, install and switch on. On the biogas and the biomass you have your challenges with feedstock, you need to make sure you've got security on feedstock um, and you also need to, these projects do take between 14 and 24 months to develop. Right, and you're, you're obviously an expanding company, um, you're looking for investors at the moment? Yes, we are. So um, we've developed uh, these projects, uh, two of the Namibian projects we've developed completely to, uh, to uh, 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 COD phase now. So those will be switching on in November and they'll start producing cash flow. Uh, the Kenyan projects uh, go to uh, what we call financial closure in November and Uganda around December, uh, which then means that you start with your, you raise your funding. Um, a lot of the traditional funders on the debt side uh, have shown great interest uh, to fund around 70% of the debt. The challenge comes in uh, raising the 30% equity now, and that's uh, why we came to London 
um, and formed the company ACES in London so we could raise the equity portion. So there's great opportunity for investors uh, to invest in Africa as a continent, as a growing market, and also in the renewable energy space. I mean, uh, there's two points there. Renewables, um, you know, it's got a sort of got a reputation now. Um, has it come of age? Is it is it a is it is a is it a, a clear um, investment sector now? No, certainly it's also uh, evolved and developed now. So the uh, technology is more efficient. Um, you could install per kilowatt hour at a much lower rate now than you could uh, five, ten years ago. Um, there's also greater support. There's also a nice uh, support on the EPC side. Um, as a lot of the European companies, international companies, uh, uh, the market has slowed down where the African market is now only taking off. So there's great support as well from the EPC side, uh, EPC side and the foreign, foreign com companies that want to come and work in, uh, in Africa. Right, I mean, you're in Africa, presumably, because you uh, know, mm. the, know the territory, yes. uh, judging by the, uh, your accent, let's say. Mm. But, I mean, pr presumably, uh, you could be in India, you could be in China. I mean, this, this, this is scalable. Your business is scalable uh, anywhere, and the demand is, 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 is massive. Is that, is that a fair thing to say? No, that is true. Yeah. Um, but I think our focus will stay in Africa for quite a while because the demand is quite great there. Um, the support is also there. And once you've uh, entered these countries and you've proven successfully that you can develop these projects, um, the governments support you. So it's an ongoing. So we, for instance, you enter the Kenyan market with a small 10 megawatt. And because you've demonstrated that you could deliver, it's now increased to 80 megawatts. So um, uh, I think we'll be busy in Africa for quite a while. And I mean, how much, I mean, are you, are you getting grants? Are you getting, you know, actual you know, sort of cash help? You know, there are access to grants. Um, uh, it's these uh, projects normally would qualify only once they switch on. So at the stage when you're developing, the risk is on the company. And uh, once you get your COD commercial operating date, uh, you could apply for grants. We've, we've done a few of these that we've applied. The support is there, but they would only the, uh, execute the grants once these plants are alive. Right, so you're, you're doing the rounds at the moment, presumably in London, um, maybe looking for a listing. Is that, is that the, um, the an IPO? Is that your, your goal? Yeah, that's true. We're um, currently in London to do what we call a pre-IPO fundraising. Um, and then the aim is to do a, uh, a IPO on the AIM list, a dual listing in South Africa on the Altex and then on the AIM market in London. Um, you know, this is a moving target. Zach, you've got to raise quite a lot of money. It's very, very capex intense. Uh, so you normally would uh, raise the 70% debt from the normal financial institutions, but then you need to raise the around 30% equity. And that's where the, the challenges do come in. And the market in London uh, being uh, the size that it is, it's, easy, it's not easier, but it is more viable to come and raise the money on the London market. Dave Kruger, CEO at African Clean Energy Solutions. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you so much, Jack.